Hey there, it's Aaron. In this video, I want to explore a new rendering model here on Leonardo.ai. It is called Absolute Reality Version 1.6. They say it is a photorealistic style model, great at all sorts of photorealism. So I'd like to give it a shot and to come up with something to test it out that is going to be quite visual, I went ahead and opened up ChatGPT here so that I can ask it to come up with a nice elaborate prompt so that we can test some of this photorealism. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to describe a vibrant forest scene in 125 words. We'll paste the results directly into Leonardo.ai. So I will quickly read it here. As I step into the vibrant forest, a symphony of colors envelops me. The emerald canopy above dances with sunlight, casting kaleidoscopic patterns on the forest floor. The trees stand tall, their trunks adorned with mosses and lichens, painting a tapestry of greens. Birds of all feathers soar through the air, their melodies blending harmoniously with the rustling leaves. Wildflowers burst forth, adding splashes of crimson, golden, and violet to the scene. A babbling brook meanders through the mossy rocks, its crystal clear waters reflecting the brilliant flora around it. Butterflies flutter gracefully, their iridescent wings creating flashes of brilliance. The air is rich with the earthy scent of damp soil and sweet floral fragrances. In this enchanting forest, nature's vibrant palette mesmerizes and rejuvenates the soul. Wow, that's a, that's a mouthful. So I'm going to copy that and we'll paste it here into Absolute Reality version 1.6. And let's do this. I'm just going to quickly add the negative prompt of too many arms, too many legs, two heads, two faces, bad anatomy. So that should take care of some common AI issues where it likes to add in some additional details. Let's check these out. Definitely not what I would call a vibrant forest scene. It's a forest and there are in this one a few flowers. Other than that, it really didn't deliver the goods as far as specific details that were in the prompt. That's interesting. Let's try something else. Why don't we ask it to describe a female hero character visually in 125 words. Be specific about details. Yeah, let's try, let's give this a shot. A powerful hero, female hero emerges, her presence commanding attention. Her lithe figure is wrapped in a suit of sleek midnight blue armor adorned with intricate golden filigree. The armor fits her like a second skin, emphasizing her strength and agility. A flowing crimson cape cascades down her back, billowing with each movement. Her ebony hair cascades in lustrous waves, interwoven with delicate silver strands that glimmer like starlight. Her piercing azure eyes radiate determination and intelligence, framed by arched brows that convey both fierceness and compassion. High cheekbones add an air of regality to her face, while a strong jawline exudes resilience. In her hand, she wields a weapon, a gleaming silver staff adorned with glowing runes, a testament to her mastery of magic. With every aspect of her appearance, this heroine embodies grace, power, and unwav unwavering resolve. There, I got it out. So let's, that is very descriptive and a lot of information to work with. Let's see what Leonardo can do with this. So we do have something that is more interesting this time. As far as fulfilling all of the details, I would say not necessarily. Not very happy with some of that image. Uh, this is interesting, at least. The armor is very unique. I've ne I have never seen armor stylized like that before. I don't like how the figure's heads are getting cut off. Uh, the same deal here, and I don't like the wardrobes. Mm, it's just not including things like the staff. We're getting the filigree and things like that. Um, let's give it another shot here. I mean, in terms of photorealism, maybe in some ways, but the faces are not photorealistic. Why don't we try this? Describe a beautiful woman's face in 125 words. 
The face of the beautiful woman captivates all who behold it. Soft sunlight caresses her flawless complexion, revealing a canvas of porcelain skin that glows with a natural radiance. Delicate features adorn her visage, starting with perfectly arched eyebrows that frame eyes of the deepest sapphire. Her eyes, framed by long sweeping lashes, hold a sparkle of wisdom and curiosity. Beneath them, gentle rosy cheeks carry a subtle flesh, subtle flush rather, reminiscent of a blooming rose. Her nose, elegantly sculpted, leads to a pair of plump, inviting lips that wear a serene yet enchanting smile. Her silky tresses cascade down her shoulders, an ocean of ebony waves interwoven with strands of moonlight, framing her face in an ethereal halo. In this breathtaking countenance, beauty blends with grace, exuding an aura of timeless allure. So poetic, this AI. So let's give this a shot and see if we can get maybe more of a photorealistic face. So we do have a face here that has some of the features described. Um, because it's such a close-up shot, we don't get the feeling of the hair, for example. But the eyes are wonderful sapphire. Very nice. They're all very, very similar. There's something not convincing about the mouths, I think specifically the teeth. We're just seeing the front two teeth each time. So why don't we add some details here. So I'm going to say photograph. And I'm also going to ask for not cut off, not out of frame. And let's see if that can help. I don't think that there's much of a difference between this set and the first set that we did. Uh, the faces are very similar. The eyes and this group look the same each time, which is interesting, um, but it looks almost like the same shot each time. I'm going to ask for uh, no teeth, and I'm going to ask for head to bust portrait. Let's see if these items help. There's so much happening in that long prompt that I might just be throwing in extra words that aren't even going to be considered, but we'll see. So it really is not holding on to some of the information that I'm providing it. It sort of backed out somewhat as far as including more of the face and the hair in the in the images, but overall not astounding and I wouldn't call them photo real. I would say that the eyes in all cases, the irises are probably some of the best that I've seen in terms of AI rendered irises. They're quite striking and somewhat natural looking. I think we should give this one more shot. Why don't we ask it to describe an ocean side scene in 125 words, visual descriptions only. So I'll start to read it here. The golden sun descends, casting its warm glow upon the ocean side. Waves crash against the shore in a symphony of turquoise and foam. A vast expanse of cerulean stretches as far as the eye can see, meeting the sky on a distant horizon. Seagulls soar gracefully above, their wings tracing patterns against the azure canvas. The air carries a salty tang, mingling with the sweet scent of seaweed and sun-kissed sand. Palm trees sway gently in the breeze, casting dappled shadows on the golden beach. Shells and pebbles glisten like scattered jewels along the shoreline. The rhythmic ebb and flow of the tide create a soothing melody inviting one to lose themselves in the eternal dance of the sea. Fantastic. We'll copy that and we'll paste the prompt once again here into Leonardo. And let's see what happens with Absolute Reality version 1.6. Well, that is a very nice looking set of images. The colors are very interesting. I haven't seen that sort of um, combination of blues and gold like that before. It's kind of interesting and I do like how the light cascades down across the waves. It's quite interesting, but did not really. Ooh, that's very nice and natural. I haven't seen that sort of action before in AI. Um, so it's adding some interesting details, but in terms of capturing all of the information that was described in the prompt, not so much, but look at the foam and 
this wave is incredible. The foam here is what's really impressing me because I don't often see this. This also looks very much like the sort of little undertow as the water drifts back out. So very nice images. So what is our final word here on absolute reality version 1.6 and photorealism? I would say no, it is not a photorealistic I mean, I wouldn't even say that these images are approaching hyperrealism. I think that there are some realistic elements and somewhat of a realistic feel to some of the images, but not in the faces. It's more, it's more in the details of things where it seems to excel. So let me know what you think in the comments. Does this platform deliver photorealism? Am I being too nitpicky? Let me know. If you enjoy the video, then like and subscribe to encourage me to make more of them. And with that, I will see you next time.